Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to my latest Let's Play series, or, well, a continuation of the last one, depending on how you look at it, because this is one of two games that were released at the same time. When you beat one game, you get a password that you can continue into the other, with Link himself. Now, I've already done that with Oracle of Ages. I, I, got, I beat it, got the password, so I'll be using the password from that one to continue into here. So if you're just watching this for fun and you don't want like major, major spoilers to the plot because it continues directly from the first one, then you may want to watch my Oracle of Ages LP first. But if you're just looking for help in this game, like the puzzle solutions and things like that, they're all still the same, so this walkthrough will still apply for you. However, there are some differences from playing this game first or second, such as treasures being in different locations and things like that. So since I'm playing this game second, what I'll try to do is show up as many of those differences as possible, either during the LP or as a bonus episode at the end. You can use my password if you want and still get the plot differences, but you're not going to be able to interact with Oracle of Ages. But if you do want to play along with me, then come and let's play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons! Yeah! Oh, one of my favorite games of all time. But I, I love all the Zelda Game Boy games, but... Alright, so let's get started. Now, if you're just playing a new game, you can select New Game. If you have two Game Boy Colors with Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, I think you can just game link the two together to continue the game. I don't know how that works. I've never done that. But you, what you probably want to do is select Secrets if you are continuing from the last game into here. So I'm going to take a moment to enter my password off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, I got my password in there, so let's give it a go! And, uh, what are you doing there, Link? Will you get some action from Nehru? No. No. But, uh, actually, when you continue one game into the next, you get an extra heart container to start the game to give you a little boost, so that's awfully nice. What the? I don't remember this music from the beginning of Oracle of Seasons. No. No, actually, if you are playing, well, either game second, you get a little extra cutscene at the beginning here, so... Yeah, yeah, we already know about Twin Rova and their plot and everything like that, so, yeah. Oh, well, I guess I didn't think the Flame of Sorrow was meant to be taken literally. I thought it was just a, a figure of speech. What sacrifice? What, what are you guys up to? What do you mean by that? You're not going to tell us, are you, game? Okay, well, anyway, this is where Oracle of Seasons would start normally if you were playing the game first. So, well, I get I got an extra heart container, but where's all my items? You, you make me continue from one game to the other and I don't get to keep any of my stuff? What the hell? I don't even have a, a sword or shield or anything? Man, what a jerk move. Yeah, all you get is an extra heart container. Nuts. But I do like the music here. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much the same thing as uh, the last game. Triforce sends you to Holodrum now, that's the name of this area. And we wake up with pretty much nothing. But yeah, you see uh, Impa went back to Hyrule after the last game, and then came over here, or came over to Holodrum at the request of Zelda, so there we go. Well, all right. Sure, I will. You guys are just getting drunk on the job? Oh, okay. Yeah, you see, if you were playing Oracle of Seasons first, these guys, I mean, they'd still be the same sprites and everything, but they wouldn't say anything about Zelda or there being Hylian Knights. I think they would just be just some guys getting drunk around here for all we know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so they don't say anything about that if you're playing it first. So I like how they change it when you're playing the game first or second. I recommend playing the games the other way around, too, just to see the differences and everything. But, yeah, I like it. Nice touch, guys. But, yeah, not much we can do around here. So it's all those barrels in the way and everything. Oh, well, that, that's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I already, yeah. Din, huh? Yeah, you got Nehru, Din... What about Ferrari? Doesn't she get a game of her own? No. No, she doesn't. We'll learn more about Ferrari soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. 
Oh, well, thanks for helping me out. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll do the best I can. <laughs> uh, I love like, struggling to dance. There. It's like, well, what am I? What do I do? I don't know how to dance. <laughs> he looks like he's so nervous around her. <laughs> nice job with the uh, the pixel art there, game. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a scar from when I was a child. Thanks for reminding me. Nah, nah. Yeah, we're we're the hero to save the world, or well, at least. This kingdom, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I defeated Baran, but I don't get to keep any of my items at all. I mean, at least in Metroid 2, they started you out with something. You know, but in Oracle of Seasons, oh no, we can't give you any items. No. What? Onax? It's a dumb name. Okay, okay, it's not a dumb name. That's not a challenge or anything, dude. Well, so much for the nice. Yeah, just stand in his way there. That's great. But yeah, if you're playing this second, he uh, references Varan, too. So that's nice. Nuts. Hey, get away from her! Get your damn hands off her! Nuts. That didn't work out so well. I like the opening for Varan a little better, because she has the Room of Rights theme going on and everything. That's just so badass, but... Here, oh, it's still cool, but I mean, it's not the Room of Rights. Hmm. Okay, so you kidnapped her. What, what are you going to do now? Nuts. Well, wouldn't that include you? But what are you going to do with her now? Man, he's a big guy. Nice armor you got there. What are you doing to her? Nuts. Just like Zelda in the last game. Or, well, in the uh, Nintendo 64 games. Or Ocarina of Time. Onox kind of looks like those night guys from uh, Terra Nigma there. That's yeah, kind of weird there, but. Huh. But it's a Temple of Season. How are you pulling that one off? So. You're going to throw the seasons into chaos. This is an insipid game, so he can control spring and summer and autumn and everything like that? Okay. W what are you going to do with that? Nuts. Well, we saved the Brina. Nuts. Well, I'll, I'll see what I can do for you. I don't even have any weapons on me. Oh, okay. So they got a Miku tree over here. Well, is she going to stalk me this time? Let's find out. But actually, yeah, if you play Oracle of Season 2nd, you'll start with a sword. Um, if you're playing it first, you're screwed. You don't have a sword. <laughs> so, uh, but I'll show you how to get your sword in Oracle of Se Seasons if you're playing it first. Soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Well, let's take a look around. I'll pretend I don't have my sword for right now. Hmm. Hey, how's it going? Oh. If only. Nuts. Well, I'll see if I can keep an eye out for that. How am I supposed to get to that chest? There were no items in Oracle of Ages that could do that. We had Moosh, but I don't know about that one. But anyway, uh... Well, for the... Well, you know what? I'll explain the secret soil. Soon enough, viewers. Uh, let's go down here first. Into... What is the name of this place? Horan Village. So, Horan is a village of Holodrum. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll go pay her a visit then. Well, let's see what's going on at the village around here. Okay, how's it going? Oh, really? Hmm. I can't wait either. Now, the way the seasons work in this game, just to give you a little preview of it, see right now, if you check up there, it's summer, and the seasons will change, you know, spring, summer, autumn, winter, and so on, depending on different circumstances, and I'll explain how that works when it becomes appropriate. Right now, uh, well, it is the way it is, so, winter gave spring and summer a miss and went straight into autumn. No, no. Well, 
know, let's just go exploring around here, see what else is going on. Yeah, if you're playing Oracle of Seasons first, or second, you can get this Gasha Seed here for 30 rupees, and that is a really, really good price. But, well, I don't have the money right now, so... Hmm, nothing over there. That house looks familiar. Hey, it's Pippin and Blossom and Zippin! Hey, stop Zippin! Hey, hey, stop! Slow down! Hey. Yeah, I remember you from the last game. Well, yeah, if you continue from the last game into... or one game into the other, you can continue to see Zippin's development throughout the game. That's pretty cool. I like that, you know? Again, nothing really important into the plot, you know? Just, you know, more development for the NPCs. Like that. Well, it's good to see you too, man. Now, if you're playing Oracle of Seasons first, just like Oracle of Ages, they'll just be giving birth to their first son, and, well, you'll need to name him. Well, you'll have to, but it's a good idea. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, well, fortunately, I already have a sword, so well, I'm sure that's not true. How am I supposed to hit that switch from over here? Even if I had my seed shooter from the last game, I couldn't hit that one. Hmm. Well, I'll just take a look around. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Well, anyway, let's go over here to the ring shop. Yes. Uh, well, this is Vasu the Jewel. Er, okay, sorry, I spoiled his name two seconds in advance. But anyway, uh, yeah, if you talk to him, you'll get your ring box. It basically holds one ring. They provide special abilities. Now, there is one thing that I forgot to do back in Oracle of Ages, so let me pop that one in and I'll meet you over there. Okay, I've loaded up my Oracle of Ages file, so here's how you get your password. You basically talk to the Red Snake there, and you ask for a secret password. So, yeah, you gotta get this password, and I'll take a moment to write that down and be right back. Okay, I've written down the password there, so now let's take that over into Oracle of Seasons to take my rings over there. Nah, nah, I don't need my password again. Thanks a lot, Snakey. Okay, we're back in Oracle of Seasons here, so now, since you ha since I got the password from my other game, I want to give him my password to get my rings from the other game, so let me just take a moment to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, that should be good. Haha! -ha! There we go. Yeah! So, yeah, your rings don't carry over with your password, or with the hologram secret password that I got there. They only carry over through here. You can also talk to the blue snake over there, and... Oh, no, I don't want to go there. You can talk to the blue snake to link the two games together if you wanted to, if you're playing this on the cartridges like that. But for now, I think I'll go with the blue ring. That one's pretty good. Uh, actually, you know what? But uh, for those who don't know, you can collect rings in the game and they have special properties that you can gain if you... Actually, you know what? I, I don't want those at all. I want my uh, gold joy ring. Yeah, I think that's the one I want. Yeah, because I need a lot of rupees early on. So there we go. But yeah, you find rings throughout the game and they give you special abilities like double items, re heart regeneration, things like that. So And you have to talk to Vasu here in order to equip them. He appraises them. And so on. And I'll show you that as we go through the LP here. So, okay. Let's see what's going on down here. Hey, how's it going, man? Oh, well, it doesn't look that dark to me. Let me stand next to your fire! No. No. Okay. Well, let's see what's going on around up here. Let's see, how much have I explored? Yeah, we're not going to be able to explore everything today, but... Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I already talked to them, so that's okay. Hmm. Well, okay, but anyway, uh, just like that old guy was saying there, in order to get through the gate here to the Maker Tree, you'll need a sword. I already have one, but if you're playing Oracle of Seasons first, you won't. Where can you find one? Find out next time on Let's Play Oracle of Seasons! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.